It's going to be a very intense time, and it's going to be practice-based. It's about making. It means that the way that people are able to test things out is through the physical act of making. It's, I think, a beautiful experience to spend one year solely focusing on yourself and your work. You might come in here thinking you're going to do one thing and leave doing something totally different. The galleries uh, combine to support creative practice, teaching and research through visual culture. Uh, students also exhibit in the galleries. There is, of course, the end of year graduate show. Both undergraduates and postgraduate courses will use that space to put up experimental shows, to try out ideas and uh, to try them out in a gallery setting. And it becomes a good space for people to discuss and engage with other students' work. My name's David Waterworth. I'm curator of the University Galleries. My name is Audrey Sanson, and I'm a critical art practitioner. And in the MA Digital Arts, I teach aesthetics and practice. My name is Jim Hobbs, and I'm a senior lecturer. I'm also a practicing artist who works across a variety of media. For the Digital Arts MA, I'll be teaching expanded art forms, and also be leading the final major projects for all students. People that um, I studied under at Greenwich University were extraordinary encouraging um, and in encouraging my ability and giving me the tools to to carry that out it's not about necessarily teaching them exactly what we know it's actually about us working together collaboration the idea being that you teach in a way that allows people to develop their own personal subjective creativity the ability to think independently and to think creatively and yes we are teaching things along the way yes we will be teaching skills yes we will show them how to use different technologies and different hardwares and softwares but the main thing is that actually they have a drive a drive that comes from within them to study to be open to experiment Nerds, geeks, marginal characters that question the status quo, independent learners, people who are not afraid to explore without knowing where they will end up. Would be the kind of people that want to develop ideas that they have already. So what you have to have is an interest in pursuing your own ideas you know, when you say, what's the ideal student? I mean, for me, the, the ideal student is somebody who brings something to the table that I don't have. It would be my hope and my plan to actually work with other institutions to be able to develop projects abroad. It's something that should give people an experience that gets them out again, out of the institution. While we use the institution as a base, we then go out of that institution to be able to develop projects that will be seen by the public. In terms of expectations, I think the master's students should expect to not always know what to expect and to embrace that.